What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here with his new film Hillbilly LG, which just premiered on uh, on Netflix recent. I decided to go ahead and do my top ten favorite Ron Howard movies because he's of course an Oscar-winning uh, filmmaker. He really got his start as a uh, as an actor because of course he played Opie on the Andy Griffith Show. Then he played Richard Cunningham on uh, Happy Days, and since then he's became more of a popular filmmaker and all. So with that being said, here's my 10 favorite Ron Howard movies. Alright, coming in at number 10, I'm going to go with the film Par uh, Parenthood. Now this film got released back in um, early 1990s, I believe 1993 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, stop that. Anyway, and here it stars uh, Steve Martin who plays this uh, professionist uh, named Gil uh, Bugman. Who here is uh, trying to struggle with his... Uh, with his death fantasies, um, with his of his injury children, and you got uh, Gil's siblings, um, also as to the distress, uh, and one of his sisters, played by Diane Reese, ends up facing a difficulty when her uh, teen daughter, played by uh, Martha Plipper, of course from Goonies fame, ends up becoming uh, pregnant, while um, another, played by Holly Jane uh, Closeman, ends up cashing with her uh, husband, portrayed by Rick Moranis. When she acts uh, for like more um, children here, and you also got um, you know Gil's uh, immature brother played by uh, Animal House's Tom Hulas, who also turns up as well, and you also got a few other folks like you even got Keon Reeves in this. Parenthood is a really funny uh, film. It is a film about um, you know dysfunctional families and all that, and of course they did do a TV show based on uh, the film. I mean Steve Martin, of course, is great. Uh, Rick Moranis, he's Rick Moranis, he's always the best. Uh, great performances by the cast. I mean, if you guys have never really seen Parenthood, it's a really good one. Alright, coming in at number 9, I'm going to go with Frost Nixon. Now, this of course got loads of Oscar nominations. And you got uh, Frank Langella, who of course portrays uh, Richard Nixon. And it's about his like, interview with uh, British TV personality David Frost, portrayed by uh, Michael Shane. And they became... Um, and there's like uh, candid interviews and uh, talk about um, the uh, Watergate scandal that ended um, Nixon's presidential day. I mean, Frank Langella, of course, I believe he's got an Oscar nomination for this, if I'm not mistaken. Frank Langella was terrific here. Micah Shane was great. The dialogue between them going back and forth is really amazing to watch. Really a uh, decent film. If you guys haven't really seen Frost Nixon, really cool film. I mean, Ron Howard knows how to do history really well, so yeah. Alright, coming in at number 8, I'm going to go with Solo, A Star Wars Story. Now, I really enjoyed this a little more than I expected. I thought uh, Elden Ehrenreich was a great Han Solo. Woody Harrelson was great. Paul Bettany was good. Emilia Clark, uh, Donna Glover. Uh, great effects. I mean, pretty much Star Wars kind of runs in the uh, Howard household. Because, of course, his daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard, you know, recently directed episodes of The Mandalorian. And not to mention... Uh, Ron Harris has a nice relationship with the Lucas um, family because, of course, he did work with George Lucas on uh, on American Graffiti, so there's that. But, yeah, Solo is a really decent one. I'm still hoping we'll get a sequel, but, you know, we'll see what happens there. Alright. Uh, coming in at number seven, I'm going to go with the classic Willow. Now, Willow is, is probably one of the best fantasy movies of the A's. Of course, Disney Plus is doing a sequel to which I'm kind of interested in that one. And, you know, you got, uh, of course, you know, this uh, takes place in, like, a period of time, uh, and, and you got, uh, Warwick Davis, um, who I thought was terrific in this one, and, you know, he lives out on an adventure um, that explodes beyond and um, the boundaries and his uh, hopes and uh, fears and all. You also had Val Kilmer was in this. A really decent classic fantasy stuff. This is also a Lucas uh, production, so Ron Howard has a really nice relationship with uh, you know, with George Lucas and all. And yeah, Warwick Davis. I mean, of course, he is best known for Leprechaun and all, but Warwick Davis was terrific in uh, Willow. Uh, the other cast is great. Now I'm still looking forward to check out the sequel. Um, when that premieres on Disney Plus, that should be pretty interesting. All right, coming in at number six, I'm gonna go with the sci-fi classic. Cocoon. 
Now, this is pretty much a film about like an um, pretty much an alien invasion based film, and Cocoon is such a s classic sci-fi element here. And you also had some really good cast lists. You had uh, Wolf of Rimley, uh, Jessica Tanney, Steve Gutenberg. This film also scored a couple of Oscar nominations. I believe it scored one for Best Picture, if I'm not mistaken. A uh, really decent, um, iconic special effects. I mean, of course, Ron Howard is no stranger for the sci-fi world because, like I said, he did give a solo. And, I mean, here you have the uh, aliens who pretty much uh, form the... Uh, the fountain of uh, youth here, and is um, the sus, you know, a holiday at home here. And yeah, the effects are really decent. Um, the aliens look cool. I mean, if you guys have not really seen Cocoon yet, give it a shot. This is actually a film I wouldn't mind seeing get a remake. I mean, lots of people are not really fond of remakes, but if they were to do like a new version of Cocoon, I'll be down for that one. I mean, Cocoon is a really cool off oh, like. Alright, coming in at number 5, I'm going to go with the 2000 live action of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Starring Jim Carrey as, you know, as the Grinch. I, I mean, wait. Oh, sorry for that. Anyway, How the Grinch Stole Christmas does not really get a lot of love, but I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's... It's a really solid live action adaptation of a Dr. Seuss um, tale. Of course, we had the last time we had a live action Dr. Seuss tale was uh, Cat in the Hat. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you had Jim Carrey as the Grinch, who I thought did a perfect Grinch. Uh, you had some other good cast members like Bill Irwin was great in this, Taylor Momsen as a Susie, uh, Cindy Lou. I mean, I. I actually still own this thing on VHS. I still watch it. Um, I even watch this thing around Christmas every time it's on. It's really fun. It's entertaining. Uh, yeah, Jim Carrey is just a perfect Grinch. Uh, yeah, really loved uh, Ron Howard's uh, take on the Grinch. All right, coming in at number four, I'm gonna go with Backdraft. Now, in Backdraft, of course, it is a firefighter film about these uh, Chicago firefighting brothers named uh, Steven, portrayed by Kurt Russell, and uh, Brian, portrayed by William Baldwin, who have also been rivals since uh, childhood. You know, you got Brian, who is struggling to prove um, to prove himself, uh, and there is also um, himself, and uh, is like transferred to the Austin uh, unit. While uh, you also got um, this character named Don, played by Rob Downey Jr., who is in uh, his investigation into a uh, spate of uh, fires involving um, oxygen-induced uh, infernos, also called Backdraft. You also had uh, Donna Sutherland was in this. Backdraft also scored a couple of Oscar nominations. I believe Best Visual Effects, if I'm not mistaken, or Best Original Score. I know it did score a uh, couple some uh, Oscar love, but Backdraft is really cool. Sorry about that. Uh, the effects is decent. The performances by the cast is good. Now they also did a, do a sequel which got um which went straight to DVD, which I haven't really seen, was not all that interested in that. But the first backdraft is hands down really awesome. You know, really cool uh, Ron Howard based film. Uh like I said, great performances by Baldwin, uh by Kurt Russell. Yeah, if you guys have never really seen Backdraft by now, definitely get that one ago. Number three, I'm going to go with the film A Beautiful Mind. Now, this is, I believe this is the film that actually won Ron Howard his first ever Oscar. And, of course, the movie won Best Picture. Uh, here you got um, you got this uh, mathematical uh, genius named, uh, named uh, John Nash uh, Jr. Who, who is pretty much uh, made a uh, astonishing uh, discovery early in his career and uh, stood on the uh, brink of uh, international uh, acclaim. And, you know, of course, uh, the character of Nash is on the, uh, uh is on the, uh, autism, uh, spectrum, and I, I thought Russell Crowe was terrific at playing that role. You know, he really embodied the role of Nash. You also had, uh, Ed Harris, um, Jennifer Connelly was in this. Great performances by them all around. This is definitely a pure Ron Howard film, and really inspirational, you know, really decent performances. I mean, if you guys have not really seen Beautiful Mind, 
is another Ron Howard movie worth checking out. Alright, number two, I'm going to go with Splash. Now, of course, this is a mermaid-based film that stars Tom Hanks, uh, who ends up reuniting with a mermaid that used to save his uh, life um, back when he was a kid. And he ends up pretty much smitten with, um, with the mermaid, who is now played by Daryl Hannah. You also had the likes of Eugene Levy. John Candy was in this. Splash is terrific. I I can just say he, this is actually one of the movies that really put Ron Howard on the map as a filmmaker. I mean, he's done movies before Splash, but Splash is such a terrific one. Tom Hanks' uh, chemistry with Daryl Hannah is really solid to watch. You know, the movie was really cute, heartfelt. I mean, whoever knew that movie about romance with a guy and a and a uh, mermaid could work out perfectly. This definitely works out really well. So if you guys never really seen Splash, give that one a go. All right. Speaking of Tom Hanks, my number one favorite Ron Howard movie of all time goes to Apollo 13. Now, of course, this is about the uh, you know um, events of Apollo 13, a lunar mission with uh, astronauts uh, Jim Lovell portrayed by uh, Tom Hanks. Fred Hayes, played by the late great Bill Paxton, and Jack uh, Swigert, portrayed by Kevin Bacon, who has to find uh, everything going um, according to plan um, after leaving uh, Earth's orbit. And of course, um, you know the uh, when President um, Oxygen Tank ends up exploring the schedule moon landing, a uh, lens, uh, landing is uh, ends up being called off. And tensions with like in on um, the crew and uh, numerous techno problems. Uh, drains to uh, drains both the uh, astronauts uh, survivor and uh, return to um, Trevino, and it's really intense. I mean, Apollo 13 is crazy that um, something like this really happened in real life, but the effects of this thing was cool. I mean, it got a couple of Oscar nominations. I believe it got nominated for Best Picture, if I'm not mistaken. Tom Hanks was, he's Tom Hanks. What do you want from me? He he's just great. Uh, the late great Bill Paxton was terrific. Kevin Bacon was great. You know, you can really buy them as astronauts really well. They play their characters perfectly. Uh, yeah, Apollo 13 is definitely the best thing Ron Howard has ever put out. You know, he, he put out some really solid performances by the cast. I mean, if you guys never really seen Apollo 13, this is definitely his most classic uh, film, in my opinion. I mean, it's a really decent true story aspect. Uh, Howard, you know, did one heck of a job at uh, directing this. Definitely go check out Apollo 13 if you guys have never seen that. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick rundown. 10, Parenthood. 9, Frost Nixon. 8, Solo. 7, Willow. 6, Cocoon. 5, The Grinch. 4, Backdraft. 3, A Beautiful Mind. 2, Splash. And number 1 is Apollo um, 13. Now there's other stuff I could, probably could have added. Uh, the Da Vinci Code is a pretty good one. Uh, Cinderella Man, Rush. Uh, let's see. Uh, Night Chef. Um, I mean, he's of course iconic on shows like Happy Days and uh, Deanne Griffith Show, but obviously I'm talking about his directing credits, not his uh, starring credits. Uh, he did the movie Grand Theft Auto, not to be confused with the, vi with the video game, by the way. Uh, he did The Paper, Ransom, EDTV, uh, The Missing, Angels and Demons, The Dilemma. Uh, he's done some really solid stuff. I, I can't wait to see what else um, he has um, down the line. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Uh, what are some of your favorite Ron Howard movies? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Team Movie Sign Out.